Congratulations! You've just purchased one of the world's wonders, a natural stone surface created by nature over millions of years. Every step of the way, quarrying, slabbing, fabrication, and installation has been dedicated to providing a perfect look unachievable with any other material. Now the rest is up to you. Simple care and maintenance will help preserve your stone's beauty for generations to come. Taking care of your stone is not much different than taking care of a fine piece of mahogany or oak furniture. Care must be taken to preserve and maintain quality. This short video has been developed by the Marble Institute of America to provide routine cleaning guidelines as well as procedures for stain removal should it become necessary. If any situation arises where you don't feel comfortable trying to remove a stain or other blemish, or if you have any questions concerning care and maintenance, simply pick up the phone and call your local MIA natural stone dealer or contractor for answers. Your natural stone surface may have been sealed before it left the shop. If so, you have an added level of protection above the natural wear properties. If you're unsure whether the surface has been sealed, ask your contractor. He can recommend a non-toxic sealer that is safe for use on food preparation surfaces. When natural stone is sealed, a penetrating sealer is used to provide time to wipe up spills. Ask how often the surface needs to be resealed because different stones have varying porosities. The time frame between applying new sealant will also depend on usage. If you've purchased and applied a natural stone sealing compound, please check with the compound manufacturer as to the types of cleaning preparations you can use with the sealant. While marble and limestone are sometimes used in areas where food is being prepared and consumed, granite is the predominant choice in those areas because it's more durable and less subject to staining. When it comes to countertops and other surfaces that come in contact with food and beverages, there are certain basic steps you can take to avoid a staining problem. On calcareous stones such as marble, limestone, and travertine, use coasters under all glasses, particularly those containing alcohol or citrus juices. Many common foods and drinks contain acids that will etch or dull the stone surface. While generally not necessary on harder stones, the use of coasters may still be prudent. Again, on calcareous stones such as marble, limestone, and travertine, do not place hot items directly on the stone surface. Use trivets or mats under hot dishes and place mats under china, ceramics, silver, or other objects that can scratch the surface. These items may be prudent with harder stones but are not necessary. Likewise, there are preventative steps you can take with natural stone floors to prevent damage. Dust mop interior floors frequently using a clean, non-treated, dry dust mop. Sand, grit, and dirt do the most damage to natural stone surfaces due to their abrasiveness. Mats or area rugs inside and outside an entrance will help minimize materials that may scratch a stone floor. Do not use a vacuum cleaner that has worn parts. The metal or plastic attachments or wheels may scratch the surface. Petroleum-based soaps and detergents should be avoided on stone floors because they tend to dull the surfaces over time. The best suggestion for both marble and granite floors is to use a dry mop for surface dirt then use clear hot water and a cotton cloth for more heavy-duty cleaning. Regardless of whether it's a countertop or floor, there are some very basic guidelines which cover all natural stone surfaces. Clean stone surfaces with a few drops of neutral cleaner, stone soap, or a non-petroleum-based dishwashing detergent and warm water. Use a clean rag mop on floors and a soft cloth for other surfaces. When rinsing the surface of natural stone, change the rinse water frequently. Above all, do not use scouring powders or creams. Those products contain abrasives which can scratch the stone. Now in the bathroom or other wet areas, soap scum can be minimized by using a squeegee frequently. To remove soap scum, use a non-acidic soap scum remover or a solution of ammonia and water, about half cup of ammonia to a gallon of water. Caution. Frequent or overuse of ammonia solution may also eventually dull the surface of the stone. If you happen to have outdoor pool, patio, or hot tub areas, flush stone surfaces with clear water and use a mild bleach solution to remove algae or moss. Now let's talk about stains. If you're working on your stone countertop and spill food ingredients on the counter or the floor, clean it up as soon as it's convenient. That doesn't mean you must clean up while you're preparing, but don't let the food or other materials remain overnight. 
use a sponge or cloth with warm water. If you're entertaining and you or a guest spills wine on a natural stone floor, counter, or table, blot the spill with a paper towel immediately. Don't wipe the area, it will spread the spill. Flush the area with plain water and a mild, non-petroleum-based soap and rinse several times. Dry the area thoroughly with a soft cloth. Repeat as necessary. Identifying the type of stain on the stone surface is the key to removing it. If you don't know what caused the stain, play detective. Where is the stain located? Is it near a plant, a food service area, an area where cosmetics are used? What goes on in the area around the stain? Examine the color, shape, or pattern. Chances are you can remove most stains by yourself if you know what caused them. If you don't know the cause and can't easily remove the stain, call your natural stone professional. Here are some first cleaning actions for some stains. Oil-based stains include grease, tar, cooking oil, and cosmetics, which will darken the stone. Clean these gently with a soft liquid cleanser with bleach, or household detergent, or ammonia, or mineral spirits, or acetone. Organic stains include food, coffee, tea, fruit, tobacco, paper, urine, leaves, bark, and bird droppings, which may cause a pinkish-brown stain. Outdoors, when the source has been removed, normal sun and rain will generally bleach out the stains. Indoors, clean with 12% hydrogen peroxide and a few drops of ammonia. For metal stains, contact your natural stone dealer. This is generally not a do-it-yourself project. Biological stains include algae, mildew, lichens, moss, and fungi. Clean with diluted ammonia or bleach or hydrogen peroxide one half cup of any one of these to a gallon of water. Caution, do not mix bleach and ammonia. This combination produces a toxic and lethal gas. Ink stains include magic marker, pen, and ink. On light-colored stone, clean with bleach or hydrogen peroxide. Use lacquer thinner or acetone on dark stones. For paint, a small amount can be scraped off carefully with a razor blade or removed with lacquer thinner. For large amounts, use a commercial heavy liquid paint stripper and carefully follow instructions. Wear protective eye gear and gloves. Sometimes it's best to let the paint dry, then scrape off the bulk with a razor blade first. Water spots and rings result from surface accumulation of hard water. Buff these with dry triple zero steel wool. For fire and smoke damage, older stones and smoke or fire stained fireplaces may require a thorough cleaning to restore their original appearance. Commercially available smoke removers save time and effort. Acids left on the surface of the stone will cause etch marks. Some materials will etch the finish but not leave a stain. Others will both etch and stain. With calcareous stones such as marble, limestone, and travertine, repairing this problem is also not generally a do-it-yourself process. We suggest you call your local natural stone contractor for assistance. Slight nicks and scratches can be buffed with dry triple zero steel wool. Deeper scratches should be repaired and polished by a professional. Now here's a good rule of thumb. If you can't remove a stain with the first step procedures outlined here, call your natural stone professional. One of the processes that the professionals may employ to remove the stain is the application of a poultice, a liquid cleaner or chemical mixed with a white absorbent material to form a paste about the consistency of peanut butter. The poultice is spread over the stained area to a thickness of about one quarter to half an inch with a wood or plastic spatula. It is then covered with plastic which is taped to the surface. The poultice is allowed to work for 24 to 48 hours. The liquid cleaner or chemical will draw out the stain into the absorbent material. Poultice procedures may have to be repeated to thoroughly remove a stain. It may take several applications to remove difficult stains. And of course, there are some instances when the stain will never totally disappear. Again, determining the type of poultice to use for a particular stain and its application are best left in the hands of your natural stone expert. You really don't want to get involved in mixing poultice material yourself. The same goes for surfaces that have been accidentally etched by some chemical substance. Let the pros do it. The cost can be minimal when it comes to the value of your natural stone installation. There's a lot you can do yourself. Here are some simple and practical do's and don'ts when it comes to maintaining and cleaning natural stone. Do dust mop floors frequently. 
Do clean surfaces with mild, non-oil-based detergent or stone soap. Do thoroughly rinse and dry the surface after washing. Do blot up spills immediately. Do protect entrances with non-slip floor mats or area rugs. Don't use vinegar, lemon juice, or other cleaners containing acids on marble, limestone, travertine, or onyx surfaces. Don't use cleaners that contain acids, such as bathroom cleaners, grout cleaners, or tub and tile cleaners. Don't use abrasive cleaners such as dry cleansers or soft cleansers. Don't mix bleach and ammonia. This combination creates a toxic and lethal gas. Don't ever mix chemicals together unless directions specifically instruct you to do so. Finally, your professional stone supplier, fabricator, installer, or restoration specialist can be your best friend when you have a stain problem that appears too difficult to treat. Call him and he'll help protect your natural stone investment. Follow the simple instructions on this video and you'll receive a lifetime of pleasure from your natural stone.